Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Well, camping has been at an all-time high, even with the pandemic, and people want to get out. And now they're going to get out more because it's a great place to camp at. And that's where Toby O'Rourke is here to talk about. Good morning, Toby. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Okay, where are you located right now? Because it looks beautiful. It is beautiful here. I am at Lake Oconee, Georgia, near Greensboro at our KOA. Beautiful place to be camping. So, uh, okay, we know with the pandemic, uh, people have been getting out and, and the spike in camping went way crazy. Why is that? Well, it's just like what you're seeing here. People are gravitating to the outdoors, particularly after having been indoors last year. They want natural social distancing, less crowds, and they need a break from stress. So there's no perfect antidote to stress than the great outdoors, and we can deliver upon that perfectly with camping. And a lot of people found that last year. 48 million households camped last year, of which 10 million had camped for the first time. Wow, okay. Camping's changed since I was little, uh, and it's amazing how it's changed. It has been. There has been a lot of changes. What doesn't change is that it's a great way to connect to the outdoors and connect to each other, and that's our mission at our company, and it's a great business to be associated with because you're bringing people together. But we have seen some changes. There are lots of ways to camp. You can camp in a tent, obviously, but people are gravitating towards RVs. People like glamping now that, you know, looking for that unique experience, whether that be canvas tents or tree houses or yurts. We have deluxe cabins complete with bathrooms and kitchens and all those comforts you might expect at a hotel, but you still have the great outdoors and, and be able to have a campfire. So there's been a lot of changes over camping, but the fundamentals re remain the same for sure. Yeah. Okay. How have the campgrounds changed with the COVID-19 well, uh, restrictions? Like yeah, like everything, we had to keep safety, you know, front and center. And that is a top priority for KOA, keeping our guests safe, our staff safe, and our franchise owners safe. When the pandemic came on last year, we put in place different operating procedures to help people keep everyone safe. You'll see things at campgrounds such as, you know, group gathering restrictions if required, um, social distancing, use of PPE. Some people put in place, you know, remote check-in procedures so you can get to your site easily and quickly without a lot of contact with others. But we always follow the state and local restrictions and ordinances. So we encourage people to get in touch with the campground prior to their visit so they can know what to expect. All right. Hey, I know you're there at that beautiful campsite, but right in our own backyard, we have some great camping areas, don't we? You do. Phoenix has some beautiful campgrounds in or Arizona. The whole state does actually. There's 12 in Arizona. And I think the closest to Phoenix would be the Mesa Apache Junction KOA. And so I definitely encourage people to get online and find a KOA nearby. You don't have to go far to have a great vacation. It's easy to do on a weekend and just get a little bit of a getaway. Oh. Toby, tell them where they can find the information to have a great camping trip. You can go to our website, KOA.com. Um, if you're new to camping, we've got a great blog on there as well that can give you lots of tips and tricks to get started. We also have a mobile app, which can make it convenient, particularly if you're traveling. Oh. Toby, awesome. I'm heading out camping this weekend, so I'm looking forward to it. So thank you. Thank you. Happy camping.